has done a lot of different things that make her a hero, just being a great student council advisor. And then she went from like coming up with the t-shirt idea for the disaster to sandbagging. Everything she does, she's a full participant in. She doesn't delegate work um, whenever they are doing a fundraiser. I mean, she's in there with both hands. She's taken what she's learned as far as being a leader and being a volunteer and works very hard at imparting those values and those skills among the students that she teaches. When I met her, she kind of got me inspired to go out and help people. It causes us all to strive to do better and give back to the community. I've never seen her turn her head from anyone, no matter their situation. She really motivated a lot of people to go out and do a lot of different things, not just, you know, last summer with the flooding. My sister had asked my husband and sons to go over and, to, you know, could they put a couple sandbags together? And we started sandbagging, and it was overwhelming, to say the least, just the, what was in front of us. Well, we weren't out there maybe six or seven hours. And she said, do you need some help? And I said, absolutely. Well, when she showed up, she had 17 kids. She just like sent out a text the day after school had gotten out, just to everybody in student council, to her family. I know her sister-in-law was there, other friends and like other teachers and everything. She spread them out. They didn't all stay at my sister's. But over the course of a week, they were there between 7.30 in the morning and 8 o'clock, and they didn't leave. It just felt amazing knowing that we were helping so much. And it wasn't just the student council kids, she called teachers. The teachers came, the teachers brought their kids, their spouses, people that didn't even know us. And when neighbors or other volunteers saw all these people showing up, they started, it was like a chain reaction. Wow, how does she keep doing this every day? Because she had little kids at home, but she did. She found ways to make it work, took the kids with her, or you know, found ways to help and brought family members in and just helped keep the kids motivated and going, that sandbagging just kind of kept going. And they would just say over and over again, thank you, thank you, thank you. And it really just all goes back to Mrs. Pick for organizing everything. I think Michelle Pick and the student council would be who made a difference. It was just, it had this huge ripple effect. And then when she found out that I had a girlfriend that lived in South Sioux, they went over to my girlfriend's house and helped people along the river, you know, in South Sioux. So she was, she was just, spreading you know herself so wide and so deep I don't think she even realizes the impact that she had. Then she started selling t-shirts and made um, ten thousand dollars for the Red Cross that you know the students helped with. And when you sit there and you think sometimes you know I'm just one person I'm not gonna go out there and help or I'm not gonna make a difference she doesn't realize what a big difference she makes in so many people's lives. It just awes me that one person can do that and make that big a difference in the community. Well, Miss Pick, I would tell you congratulations for winning your award, and I would like to thank you for getting me involved in leadership and student council. I would like to thank her for being such an incredible icon in everyone's eyes, and thank her for never, ever judging anyone, and just for being a fantastic role model. If Michelle is sitting right here today, I just tell her that we all appreciate everything she does and really makes a difference in our community. I feel relief. I just, I just feel relieved to know that she's there because you can count on her. Without even asking, you can count on her.